Welcome back, my friends, to Praying the Flame of Love Rosary. Today we're going to do the Luminous Mysteries. Please open your minds and hearts and pray right along with us. Kissing the Crucifix, we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hope, and charity on the next three Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. John is baptizing in the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am the voice of one crying in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. One mightier than I is coming after me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Seeing Jesus, John exclaims, Behold the Lamb of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Against protests of his unworthiness, John baptizes Jesus in the Jordan. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. After Jesus' baptism, a voice from heaven says, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Spirit descends upon Jesus in the form of a dove. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, seeking baptism, institutes the sacrament of baptism. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Divine Trinity is manifested. The voice of the Father is heard as the Spirit descends upon the Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding of Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus, his mother and disciples, were invited to a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. During the wedding feast, the wine ran short. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary said to Jesus, They have no wine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus replies, What would you have me do? My hour has not yet come. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary said to the waiters, Do whatever he tells you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. There were six stone water jars, each holding fifteen to twenty gallons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus bids the waiters to fill the jars with water, and then draw some out and take it to the chief steward. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The chief steward says to the groom, Every man serves the good wine first, but you have saved the good wine until now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At Mary's heeding, Jesus worked his first recorded miracle. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By his presence, Christian marriage was raised to the dignity of a sacrament. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. May our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, and may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My kingdom is not of this world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Unless a man be born again of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever does not accept the kingdom of God as a little child will not enter it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, 
which a woman buried in three measures of flour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have come to call sinners, not the just. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain to pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus was transfigured before them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His face became as dazzling as the sun, his clothes as radiant as light. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This was to fortify their faith to withstand the coming tragedy of the Passion. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus foresaw the scandal of the cross and prepared them for it by this manifestation of his glory. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Moses and Elijah appeared, representing the law and the prophets of the Old Testament, and were conversing with Jesus about his passion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do not think I have come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. From a cloud came a voice. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus admonishes them not to tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man rises from the dead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We too will behold the transfigured Jesus on the last day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. May our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, and may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The Fifth Luminous Mystery, The Institution of the Eucharist our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus took bread, blessed it. Take and eat, this is my body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Taking the wine, he said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At that Eucharistic meal, Jesus celebrated the first Mass. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At every Mass, the sacrifice of Calvary is made present. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At the Last Supper, Jesus instituted the Sacrament of Holy Orders to perpetuate this sacrifice. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Eucharist is a sacrifice inasmuch as it is offered up, and a sacrament inasmuch as it is received. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the Mass we offer ourselves to God, and God gives himself to us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Mass will be fruitful in the measure of our surrender to the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. May our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, and may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that, while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions and well-being of our Holy Father, the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, this is a big one. We're going to pray for the flame of love, which if you're baptized and you're in the state of grace, the flame of love is there, but we're going to pray for it through the grace of the flame of love revealed to, by Mary and Jesus to Elizabeth Kindleman. That can really burst into, as we were saying, into really full, full fire. And that's a journey, but something really can definitively happen. You know, Teresa of Avila, great, you know, someone who is totally consume with the fire. She said, a lot can happen quickly if you're open. You can go around in circles for a long time too if you want, but she went around in circles for the first 20 years of religious life. Really spiritually, for Teresa of Avila, life really did begin at 40. When she hit 40, she made a decision to go for it. She had been lackluster. She had been lackluster and even, you know, said uh, she committed serious mortal sins in those 20 years was, you know, it's not fun. It's not fun. In serious sin, out of serious sin, in serious sin, out of serious sin. Not too fun to be in, not too fun to watch. The angels are, they're glad you're getting out of serious sin, but come on now, let's do something different, you know. <laughs> but she, found, she did. She said, yes. She let the flame of love really get a hold of her when she was 40. She had a revelation really seeing an image of Jesus and, and it just kicked in. The grace of her baptism and con consecration kicked in. So we're really praying about this. Now about experiences. God could really jack you up, you know, and, and God can jack you up that you could be, you know, St. Paul said, if I'm out of my mind, it's for God's sake. What do you say? If I'm in my right mind, it's for your sake. Now Paul was someone that knew what it was like to have real powerful original experiences. You can't cook it up. You know, real allergic experience, they're given by God. Now, the thing about it is sometimes when you have one, the immediate experience is very powerful. Also, sometimes when you have one that could actually be very powerful, you might experience nothing. We all want to have those experiences, but a lot of times, graces from God are like time-release capsules. You know, you have time, that, that little bit of medicine is going to kind of burst open in, you know, in, in an hour, that one in two hours, in three hours. Well, th these are graces that are going to unfold beginning from your yes throughout your life. You start to, you might gradually see, you know what, if your yes is real, you will have an experience. But it, it could be this kind too, that, you know what, I'm different. There's a priest I know, he's actually since has gone to the Lord, but he really made a decision like this. He said, really, you know, when I was ordained, I, I just thought, I'm ordained to do good things. So he had a life of the first 15 years of his priesthood. He just did good things, and his prayer life wasn't too deep. I'm not sinning seriously, and I'm just doing good things for God. But then I started to realize, oh my God, like, I'm supposed to actually do the things that God wants me to do. He actually wants to guide the church. He wants to guide me. And he, he sought a deeper prayer life, and he asked for people to pray for him to have a deeper prayer life. And that would be the number one fruit of the grace of the flame of love, to have a deeper prayer life. That's the number one fruit, to be, have a more intimate relationship with Jesus and his mother. And through them, with the Father, the Holy Spirit, that's, that's the number one fruit. Now, he was prayed for, he made a decision, he asked for it, and he, he, it was like a little deflating. The immediate experience was a little deflating. Because he didn't experience anything at the time. It was like, psh, nothing. But then, all right, because other people he knew asking for this great, they, they experienced something right on the spot. I want something on the spot. But then he really started realizing, like, I'm praying differently. I want to pray. I never wanted to pray. 
Now I want to pray. Praise, prayers become easy. Right? So that being said about experiences, just be open. If you truly say yes, God will touch you. I can't say how it will happen. I can't control it. You can't control it. Just be open. If you find yourself on the floor like that, thank God. If you feel like the priest I talked about, pfft, stay open. Watch what's happening inside of you. It's not about the flash and dash, unlike the world. It's about the change of heart. Just He will do that. I guarantee you, God will change your heart if you say yes and you're open. So that's where we want to go. So we're, the way we're going to start is to renew our baptismal promises. So just a little thing about that. Renewing our baptismal promises, we really break open the creed. We're asking for the graces of our baptism to be, to be released. There was a movie with um, Bradley Cooper. I see they're turning into some kind of series, a mini-series, or I don't know, a long-term series. I guess it depends on the ratings, whatever, but Limitless. The, the movie Limitless, the concept of Limitless was that, you know, they say, scientists say our brain, we only tap about 10% of our brain power, which seems to be a fact. Sometimes I feel as I get older, I'm using less of it, but you know, I'm down to 5%. What it, but the, the point was, in the movie, if you took this drug, you would, boom, be operating at 100%. And it just, imagine, if you, just, you were 10 times more clear in your thinking your memory was 10 times more powerful. It would change your life. This character, he, by the end, he's, he's, he's without a job in the beginning and ready, you know, suicidal, and he's running for president by the end of the movie. A drug dealer, there's a limited supply. It's a drug dealer, you know, it changes his life so much that he, he kills for the last dose. The last dose is inside someone. He kills that person and drinks their blood to get the last dose. The limitless life, but there's so much more available to God, what God gave us in our baptism. What percentage do you think you're tapping? If there was like a meter right now, 2%, 5%, 10%, 15%, 20 We want to go after that 100%, right? And then just keep going. Our 100% today, if we go 100% today, we could even go, what well, today would be 110%. Tomorrow we can go, we can grow. The Catechism of the Catholic Church has quoting one saint that the Christian life has one limit, that of having no limit. That means how big can your heart get? No limit. Mary's heart so big, fits everybody. You know, hear that song? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole little bitty, I forget all the words, but you know, Mary's got the whole, and Jesus for sure, the whole world in her heart. That's a big heart. That's a big heart. We want to, this is going to get our heart a little bigger, or a lot of bigger. It depends on our openness. We want to open up our heart to God's love, and then it's the same love. The love that loves Jesus, Jesus loves people. <laughs> he loves people. He loves people. That's why one thing you want, to, you want to clear out is if there's someone that you don't love that's in your life. See, there's a problem. The reason that's a big problem is God's love, you, the ticket to heaven and the ticket to happy life is, is God's love in your heart. Now, the thing about it is God loves everybody, right? So if you exclude even just one person from your love, your heart is not open to God's love, right? I don't love Joe. Well, then you're saying, God, I don't want your love in your heart because God loves Joe, right? That's why it's really, you don't hang on to, to grudges, you know, let those be cleansed by confession, prayer. That's junk Mary in the flame of love wants to burn out the, burn out the dross. Now, before we do the baptismal promises, before we renew them, we'll break open the creed. I'll say something about that, but before we do, we're renouncing the devil, renouncing sin and Satan. You know, one of the uh, images from the book of Revelation is, the, you know, the red dragon with the seven heads and the ten horns. One of the symbols there that the spiritual theologians talk about is that the ten uh, heads, you know, going back to our reading today, that Moses came down the mountain with the ten commandments, well, the, the, uh, the ten, I'm sorry, the ten horns, the seven heads and ten horns, if I said that right, the ten horns symbolize the ten commandments. When we obey the commandments, we open our life to God in the beginning way. That's, St. Augustine said, the first step of freedom. But when we break the ten commandments, when Moses came down, he saw, you know, he was with his attendant, you know, Joshua. He said, it sounds like they're praising the Lord. And Moses said, that doesn't sound like they're praising the Lord. <laughs> It doesn't sound like they're opening to God, they're, and they weren't. They're opening up 
pride and pride, they're breaking all the commandments that are right here. You know, Moses just demonstrated physically what was happening in reality, right? He had 10 commandments in his hands. What was going on there was these are all being broken. The devil's having a field day. The Ten Commandments and also the, the seven heads, the, the seven deadly sins. Pride, envy, anger, avarice, gluttony, lust, sloth. When we say yes to the deadly sins, we say we give the devil room to work in our lives. So we're, that's what we're renouncing. One little tip is to live out your baptismal promises. Know your weaknesses. The devil does. That's what St. Anish said. The devil knows your weaknesses. If you're, you're really trying to serve God, and you start to become a threat for the devil. He knows your weaknesses. So St. Ignatius said it's really important to pray to know your weakness. Like, how does the devil get access into you? What does he pull? What buttons does he push? Work on getting those buttons dealt with. Let God deal with the buttons. For example, you have trouble with pornography. You know, a powerful thing would be like a temptation comes. You know, I, in the name of Jesus, I renounce lust. Renounce that specific thing. At that moment, yeah, this is one, I, we do that every year at Easter, we renew our breath, but it really has power. You know, in Jesus' name, I renounce lust. You have the power to shut the door to him, shut him down, to tap into Mary's promise to bind him, to blind him. Big tool of the enemy, discouragement, fear. You know, you, you make this promise today and, and you, you fall into a serious sin or something. You, you know, how did it even happen? You're discouraged. Number one tool of discouragement of the enemy, discouragement. In the name of Jesus, I renounce discouragement. Like, you can break these open into what's really going on in your heart, and it really has a power. They really have a power to shut the door to the enemy. Fear. It, it's, I don't know what's one and two. They're up there. You know, discouragement and fear. And really, you know, a really holy nun taught me, and I think she's, she's right, that she really thought and even wrote a book about it, that really undergirding all of the seven deadly sins is really a fear. A fear. And fear is really based on, you ever hear false evidence appearing real? It's based on a lie, right? A lie. That's, that's when the enemy can swim around in your life. When, you, when you're holding on to lies, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You know, when, when there's lies around, it's like a fish. That's water to a fish is lies to the demons. They're just cruising around. All these lies this person believes. I can just do the backstroke. You know, I mean, I'm just having a lot of access. But you get rid of the lies, the demons become like, you know, fish out of water. Get rid of the lies. But fear and lies go together. Discouragement and lies go together. So, in the name of Jesus, I renounce discouragement. There's great power in that. In the name of Jesus, I renounce fear. The thing about setting off in this path, we're gonna, we need to set off again and again every day and throughout the day. If you fall, it doesn't matter. You know, don't fall. Try your best not to fall. The way the devil works is, he just fall, it doesn't matter. It really isn't even going to fall. Everyone does it. But then when you fall, oh, you loser. How can you think you'd be holy? You know, just... Stay down, stay down. The way the whole, God works is the opposite. Come on, don't go there. It's just going to mess you up. You don't like, open my grace. You don't have to go there. Don't go there. Don't you go there? Okay, you're forgiven. Come on, get back up. Get back up. Let's do it again. Let's learn. Come on, I love you. Right. So it's all right to fall. Don't don't try to fall. <laughs> you know. But if you fall, come back to your father. You can even. The teaching of spiritual masters. If you fall, God could even use that for the good once you fall. Try not to, but if you do, he, you can even be springboarded to a higher level of union with God if you're open all he wants to do. So be open. So we're going to renounce Satan, but just hang on to the you know, Use this power to renounce him because he's going to, if you're serious about this, the more you're going to have more experience of God, which will be the main thing, but you also have more experiences of, of the devil. The minor key. The, you're going to have much more experience of God, but you, you will encounter the enemy too. He's going to try to, in, in, within yourself, first of all, your flesh, the world and the devil. Those enemies, you'll, you'll start to realize there's, there's a force that's, that's against me. But you, can over, you have the power to overcome it. There's more with you than against you. And this, this is just the way to have a happy, fulfilled life and to save your soul and many others. So let's, 
let's go for it. So let's start. You, you've heard this before, but let's really say it, you know. I mean, I grew up in the 80s. I have all these 80s songs in my head. I can't help it. You know, Bon, bon Jovi. I hear one, one more verse of a song. He's like, one more time with feeling. We, we've done this before, but this time with feeling. With your heart. Know what you're doing and, and mean it. I'm going to live this. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we've been buried with Christ in baptism so we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that we've been following the Lord, we've come to renew our promises, asking for in the flame of love graces that Mary has promised. So I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church? the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Now, what we're going to do now is just kind of go into a meditation to help us receive, receive the grace. Now, here's the thing about about prayer. There, there's three general levels of prayer the Catechism talks about. Vocal prayer, meditative prayer, contemplative prayer. Contemplative prayer is, is really uh, not something you can do on your own. There's two definitions. St. Ignatius' definition, I'm using Teresa of Avila's def definition of contemplative prayer, and that you can't do on your own. That's a gift from God. The scripture says, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. When you're experiencing God, it's not something you're doing, it's a gift. It can be very gentle. Do you ever walk into church and, wow, he's present? That's really a gift of contemplative prayer. That's the gift of the Holy Spirit working in your heart. That can get much deeper than that. You want to open to that gift, but it starts with vocal prayer through, you know, hearing words or, or saying words. And as we start to mean them, and as we... Uh, we, we start to then meditate, like in the, the rosary, we do the vocal prayer of the Hail Mary, we meditate on the mystery. Where that is meant to lead is an experience of the mystery. There definitely will be able to do it with, with feeling, with your heart, there'll, there'll be the fruit of it after you pray it, and sometimes even in the middle of it, the experience of something happening. Maybe you heard me use this analogy before, I'll use this analogy, you know, if God will ice cream, Vocal prayer would be talking about ice cream. Meditative prayer would be thinking about ice cream. Contemplative prayer would be eating ice cream. Jesus talks about the banquet. He wants us to eat, consume him. You know, this is my body. Give This is my blood. He, he wants us to experience him. So what I'm saying is I'm going to take us through a journey of some of the mysteries of the rosary, which is a prayer is, is the powerful gift and tool to draw closer to God. The two big powerful tools that revealed to Elizabeth, the rosary, nothing new in our tradition, hundreds of years, and going back to the hands of Jesus himself, you know, the mass. On Sunday, but even masses that, you know, we're not obliged to go, especially recommended by Liz, Mary uh, to Elizabeth and through Elizabeth to, to us. But I want to go through the mysteries of the rosary with her Jesus life and just, you know, listen. And it's something you can listen to again and again if you're watching. You know, you might be struck by one point, you're struck by one point, and you kind of tune me out. And just, I'm trying to connect you to God. So when God starts doing something in your heart, just tune me out and tune him in. I'm putting these words out there as a meditation to help you connect with God. So... If you're watching, you might just want to close your eyes. If that helps you meditate, a lot of times it does, not always. Everyone's different, but if you're here, you might close your eyes. We're just going to take a walk through the mysteries, inviting Mary to give us the flame 
of love and give it to us more, more deeply. So Mary, we just place our hands in you. Just picture yourself. You know, we renewed our baptismal promises. We, you know, I have this white albon. It really is a, a baptismal symbol on the, one, on the one hand of the cleansing of our, our baptism. You can picture yourself when you're baptized. You had a white, a white garment on, a, a, the, the cleansing that happens. Just see yourself as a, as a child. And, and Mary just wants to, to bring you the flame of love. She wants to bring you deeper into Jesus as we just walk through the mysteries of Jesus' life together. So picture Mary, you know, takes you. You're there at the Annunciation, and Mary wants to relive the, the mystery within you. Jesus is inside you, and Mary is, is also inside of you. So in a certain sense, you're, you're asked to relive the Annunciation. Through the flame of love, there's this grace, the flame of love. Mary was told there's this grace that's totally unique in history. I want the word to become flesh in you. She's told by, by Gabriel, you know, feel that, what did Mary feel like? That how, you know, and you, you hear about the flame of love. Uh, you mean the level I've been living my faith at? I can go deeper? I can be happier? And God, you know, I'm just a little girl in Nazareth. How can you touch the whole world through me, you know, I'm just a guy and a, a lady in Havertown, Pennsylvania. You know, how can you touch the world through me? Well, say yes. Say yes. Open to the flame. Open to the flame. Let Mary say yes through you to the word given by, by the angel. In that case, it, it was Gabriel. In this case, it's, it's Elizabeth Kindleman. Is the messenger, uh, the messenger. I'm here sharing that. Say yes, open, open. Let new life come into your heart. Let new life come into your heart. Let the new life come. Let the new life come. Mary said yes to that new life. She said yes to the new life. You're saying yes to the new life. That, that new life, it can't be contained. We, we have a powerful encounter with God, but, but Mary didn't stay looking at the mirror, cutting out, writing down the experience it, put it in a scrapbook, or there could be a place for that, but she didn't look in the mirror. She, she right away knew, I got to reach out to my cousin. She needs me. I got to share this. I got to share the flame. I got to share the flame with, with someone else. I got to share it with someone else. Who are you called to share the flame with? But first of all, you know, picture you're, you're Elizabeth. You're Elizabeth. You're, you're you know, you're my life has been barren. I don't know. What are my accomplishments? I have my, my trophy case. I had this job and that job. I'm proud of my kids, you know, but there's been trouble with them. And I, what am I really, uh, you know, some ways and days, especially I can feel like Elizabeth, barren. My life's been barren, but God's promised me new, there's new life growing within me. I've, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard. I've been given a new son, and she knows right away Elizabeth receives Mary. Mary. There's a flame. She feels it. Mary is the one who is this. <sighs> Elizabeth felt the You feel that same Mary is right, right here in this chapel, right where you are. Mary is there. She is consumed by the flame of love. Let your heart leap with joy. Leap with joy because Mary wants to give this flame to you. Let your heart leap. Like John the Baptist leapt. Jesus is here. The flame is here. Woo-hoo! It's really like St. David danced before the Ark of the Covenant. This king, he had so much. Yet, his stuff, all this stuff, his power, his money, it, it wasn't at the heart of his life. God was. And he danced with joy. Let your heart leap. Let your heart leap at the revelation of the flame that Mary, that Mary brings. Mary was humble. The greatest thing that ever happened inside anyone happened in her. The Savior of the world is within her, yet she submits to the laws, and she's a good citizen. She goes to Bethlehem, where she's obligated by the law to go. She, she submits. There's no room in the inn. There, there's discouragement. The, the door 
that in your life you thought was going to open. God, you know, looking back at your life, I thought this door would open, that door would open. I've been excluded from this, excluded from that. But God says, hey, Jesus, open the stable of your heart to the flame of love. Let Mary bring that. It's a more important place than any presidential candidate or any wealthy billionaire. That, that place, let Jesus, is brought to the stable of your heart by, by Mary, bringing new life, new birth. It's happening. It's happening as you say, say yes. The main mystery we really focus on, on this this revelation, this private revelation from Mary and Jesus to Elizabeth Kingdom and the, the, the flame of love is encapsulated in a very special way through the fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the, of the temple and the temple. Simeon knew, you know, he's trying to serve God. He, he sees, you know, I, I believe, I believe the faith, but I'm holding on. It, it just seems the Romans have overtaken us. They're brutal. You know, we look around our lives. You know, I, I'm trying to hold on to the faith, but I don't know, it seems like no one else is and all these, this sin going on, all the breaking, the commandments. But I know God, he, he's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. And Simeon, here comes Mary, the flame with the flame of love, Jesus. He holds the promise in his arms. He holds the promise in his arms, in his heart, leaps up, he's holding the flame, and he's rejoicing because the flame's not just in his arms, it's in his heart. Simeon, I'm not going to let you pass without the flame and knowing that the world will be lit. The world will be lit. Hold the flame that Mary gives. Picture it, you're Simeon, in your arms. It's a symbol of your heart. Embrace the flame with your heart. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. As a young boy, Jesus, he's the most gifted human being that ever, ever lived. And, you know, he's a, he's a prodigy. And he's taken to the temple. His parents would go several times a year to, to go to the temple. Just like you go to Mass every, <clears throat> every week. They go to the temple. You go on pilgrimages. You're looking forward to the Pope coming. Maybe you saw John Paul II in 1979 in Philadelphia. Or you made a pilgrimage to to Rome, these special moments are in the middle of a special moment. Jesus is only 12 years old. He starts schooling, you know, the, the rabbis, the scholars, questioning them, answering their, their questions. They're amazed. They're amazed. They're amazed. There's ways we're called to, to share the flame of love publicly and want to do that with great faith and courage. At the same time, Sometimes there's a, there's a pruning, you know? W wait, wait, wait. You need more preparation. You need more preparation. You need more study. There might be men watching this who are called to be priests or, or deacons, people called to religious life or to be part, you know, once you're part of a, a flame love group and you learn more. You're lo you learn more. God can do more through you, but through the ordinary experience of your life, that's where you're going to grow in the flame of life. And the most common thing that Mother Teresa said to women who wanted to come join her was, no. Some she said yes to, but many no. Stay where you are, right where you are, that's where you're to grow in holiness. That's where the flame of life, flame of love is going to grow. And the ordinary ordinariness of your daily life, to see the extraordinary on the other side of the ordinary. Watch for it. The flame of love is with you, and he wants to grow as you just love your family, take care of your family, do your work, live in your community. God is with you. The flame is burning. Let the flame come forth through love, through charity, through the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. At Jesus' own, own baptism, he had to say yes. 
In the catechism we read, he said, yeah, he consented to be the redeemer of every person, to be the scapegoat that would have sins placed on him. And he said, yes, he consented. He consented. We must consent to our baptism. You're doing that now. You're saying yes. We want to renew that yes again and again. Renew the yes of your baptism. Renew all that Jesus died to save you from and to give you. Let that, let that grow. And with that, there's a new revelation. There's a new experience of the face of Mary, of Jesus, of the Father. Jesus experiences the Father. Son, you're my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Jesus' heart leaps with joy. Mary knew that joy of, of seeing Jesus smile at her. Knew the Father was, she was pleasing the Father. The Father's pleased with you. You're his son. You're his daughter. So we'll take a pause. I don't know about the, I don't know about the time. I'm just taking a pause on the time. How am I doing on one, one minute? Okay. Great. Okay. I don't know what your experience watching this where where you are, and if you have the chance, it's it's even better if you, you're just by yourself that's awesome but if you gather with others but right here where we are with about 50 people it's really a great presence of the flame of love right right here we we went through the joyful mysteries and the first luminous mysteries and that's an example you know how to how to grow deeper with the flame of love the mass and the rosary praying through the mysteries is a powerful way to grow in the flame of love to let the flame of love grow in your heart you got it you made a very powerful decision today God's taking you at your word. He's doing something powerful and beautiful in your life. Let that gift unfold. And what keeps it unfolding is your continued yes. Keep saying yes. Jesus was always, as St. Paul said, never no, always yes to what the Father wants. Say yes to Mary. Say yes to Jesus. Amen.